previously on FTL. Oh, there we go. Well, gentlemen and ladies, a new hope. PD here. Let's see what happens next. New ship, new system, new strategy. Uh, I've been playing the Engi for a while. I played them for 11 ships, well, 10 and a half ships. Um, because of the other mistake we made. Let's try, oops, let's try Type B. Let's try this ship called the Red Tail. And we get four crew members and we get all lasers and we're on easy still. So we will rename it. What's a good name? We're gonna call this YouTube. And uh, yeah. So without further ado, Let us start a new game. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get on the egg. Uh, get on. Get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip: Power bars. Upgraded systems can be helpful even if you don't have enough reactor power to use them. They still absorb damage. Okay, so let's get our crew situated here. Um, first things first, we're gonna put the Zolt. Oops, what did I just do? Close. I just, I just damaged both of my guys. Okay, they're going to med bay. That'll be the first step. Okay, let's see. We'll put this guy on shields because uh the let me see i believe that the, the the mantis are the worst yeah okay it says right here they do double damage in combat 1.2 movement speed but they only do half as quickly uh, uh they only do uh repair half as quickly so we're gonna put him on the engines because that's the least vital system and we'll put the zoltan on the uh on the weapons because that gives us a free power for one of our weapons and that means that we can have all four weapons running at once because we all have because we only have three available power bars but because he's powering an equipment we get a free one so that means all four weapons can fire so let's go see okay there's a store and a store right there well that's good except we can't really spend money yet so we'll go to these two places and then hit these stores As you jump into the system, a pirate advances on your position. They are refusing all hails. Prepare for a fight. Okay, so we're going to target their shields with two of these guys. And we'll target their weapons with the other two. And it's probably too small to see on YouTube. The enemy ship appears to be powering its FTL. It's trying to escape. So let's change this to that. Weapons are out completely, and the ship's out. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Kill two, missiles two, scrap 21. That's good. Um, except that our uh, ship is on. Okay, the fire's out. Good. I'm going to put him into the med bay, because he repairs really slowly anyway, and we'll just let this human guy do it. back in engines he'll do some repairs so he levels up a little bit okay there we go so next system we now have 51 scrap I think we probably should go here there are only two ships within range and they seem to be engaged in a battle one of them has the markings of a space pirate Aid the civilian ship or stay out of it. Aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons to engage the pirate ship. Aim for his shields, and his weapons, and his oxygen, and just for good measure, we'll shoot out his uh, his engines too. Now we'll do piloting, and we'll do shields again. Let's see what happens. Oh, they just took 
got our oxygen. Okay, they're down now. They are gone. The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. We got missiles 2, drone parts 1, scrap 17. Contact. The ship that the pirates was assaulting was a science vessel. They thank you for saving them and offer a small reward. One fuel, one drone part, and 21 scrap. Okay, we have 89 now. That is really good. Let's get this oxygen fixed. <clears throat> you can see, it may be hard to see on YouTube, but the whole, uh, when you're low on oxygen, the, uh, okay, we just fixed it. Uh, the, the rooms, instead of being white, they start to turn pink, and then they start to turn red. Um, okay, let's see. So we're going to hit this store. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some val valuable technology for sale. So, they have a crew teleporter, a cloaking device, a heavy laser, um, or a heavy ion. The heavy ion takes two power. Heavy laser takes one power, but it takes a long time to charge. We only have eight damage, so let's. Wow, we could almost buy both. That would. What, what kind of craziness would that be? Huh. Let's see. If we bought both, we could sell these two. You know what? I th think. We're gonna buy, we'll buy the heavy laser for sure, because that takes more power. We can immediately use that. And then, the one short, let's see. If I sell this, no, you know what? We're gonna skip the heavy iron because we need to fix all of our damage. And we need to buy uh, all this fuel. We have 27 left, so that'll be good. Good enough. So, okay, the other store is now out of range because the, the rebel fleet has gone through. So we're going to go down and then we're going to work our way up. Your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby automated rebel scout has deployed a virus and disrupted your shield system. Hopefully it won't cause further problems before you can destroy it. So we've got your shields targeted. Weapons, engines, and just for good measure, we'll put the heavy laser on their shields as well. Okay, our, uh, our sensors just went out. The ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of useful scrap material. One missile, one drone, and 18 scrap. Continue. You know what we're going to do right now? We're going to power up our doors. 20. So we're going to go to the next level of doors. And now we're going to jump. Um, we could go back to the store, but that would probably just be a waste of a jump because um, we don't have enough to buy that heavy uh, ion thing, so there's no sense. So I guess we're gonna, uh, I guess we'll go this way. We'll keep on the lower rim and work our way up. The ship refueling station is stationed here at this beacon. Beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Okay, this is cheaper. At the, the shops it costs three, it costs two here. So we're gonna buy the max fuel, six, and we pay 12 scrap, so we have 13 left. Good deal. Oh, this guy's in the med bay. Should be in shields. Um, now we're gonna. Well, let's just keep going lower, the lower level. You find a mercenary for hire at this beacon. Their unique skills can sometimes pr uh, prove useful. Okay, so we can have him scout the sector, or if we had five more, two more scrap, we could have him delay the rebels, or fight him, or say no thanks. Um, at this point, it's not really worth having a scout. So we'll just say no thanks. And we will jump. Let's see, I think we're gonna go here this time. 
You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Intervene to defend the outpost, avoid the conflict. Detecting uh, the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Continue. So we're going to aim for his weapons, and this, the piloting thing, and we'll put this one on weapons as well. Actually, the weapons are done, so let's aim for the piloting. We already have one in the The ship breaks apart, and you quickly salvage what you can. Two missiles, one drone part, 15 scrap. The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed on stuff by those scouts. Take this on the house. One fuel, two missiles, and 22 scrap. Um, jump. So, let's see. The probably the safer thing to do at this point is to go up. But I think we can make... Ooh, that's a tough one. All right, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna jump here, and then we can decide to go either across or up from here. So, you stumble across a Ford scout, a scout of Rebel Fleet. Continue. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. So we want to immediately target their engines, and then their shields, and then they also have drone repair. So we better target that. Shields are down, but they do have drone repair, but just for the fun of it, yeah, their drone repair just went offline, so now let's take out their weapons, and we'll target their med, their oxygen, there it is, gone. Their ship breaks apart, and you are relieved to know that you're still one, uh, one step ahead of the fleet. Fuel 1, drone parts 1, scrap 19, and an anti-personnel drone. Okay, well that's good if we ever get drone control. Hmm. Let's check out this distress beacon. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and their repair crew can't approach it without being fired on. They're looking for a way to help fix or disable it. <sighs> We can destroy it from a distance or leave them alone. If we had that ion cannon, we could have uh, disabled it that way. But we're just going to destroy it. You fire a few volleys but aren't able to penetrate the defense system's shields. Its weapons have no trouble piercing yours, though, and you take minor damage before escaping. The station will need to help find help elsewhere. Bum, bum, bum. We took some damage for our trouble. Um, oh, goodness. Now I'm nervous. Okay, I think we're going to have to go here because the... Uh, looks like okay <sighs> the captain of this ship claims he can quote provide services as long as you've got the scrap hire the mercenary to delay the rebels 18 scrap hire the mercenary to scout the sector 18 scrap fight the ship you have no needs of the services i normally don't attack these guys but i'm gonna fight this guy because we want the money so um We'll take his weapons and his shields. Their ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like they want to surrender. Accept their offer. Two fuel, four missiles, and twelve scrap. Um, I'll go ahead and take that. Uh oh, thanks for shooting a missile after we accepted your surrender, jerks. Just for that, we should destroy them. You can't actually attack them after you you've agreed to become neutral. Um, okay. Jump. Yeah, see, if I'd gone anywhere else, we would have been in trouble right now. So we're basically just one step ahead of the fleet. You've arrived at the long, dis uh, the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. A strange vessel approaches. A digital message appears on your view screen. This is an automated merchant. Refill this vessel of fuel and we'll you supply with drones. Um, fuel 2, drone parts 3. We'll accept it. We have a lot of fuel, and drone parts are more valuable than fuel. So, we really have no choice but to go to the next sector. I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, we can go to Rock or Mantis. Since it's pretty early in the game, I, well, you know, we're pretty well armed. Let's go to the Rock sector. Usually the Mantis is a little bit easier than the Rock. 
the rock people have a particularly aggressive stance towards alien races trespassing in their space. We should tread carefully here. Take a sip of water. So, let's see here. Let's go immediately to this beacon. As a naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite a, re a reputation as fearsome pirates. You will stumble across one of their ships and they probably live to type. Bum, bum, bum. So we will attack that and their weapons and their shields and their oops, oxygen. Oxygen is down. Great, they have a beam laser. Come on, okay, heavy laser, boom. On their weapons. Weapons are in trouble. Ship's done. Oxygen just went out. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Fuel three, missiles one, and scrap three. Um, okay, you go fix the oxygen. And you go help him. What's this guy doing? Well, he's getting pretty good at repairs. This guy is getting pretty good at weapons. He hasn't really had much shield work. This guy's almost leveled up in weapons now. Um, let's see, I guess we'll go to this beacon. A loud thud resounds through the ship after jump completion. You've just shunted a rock fighter and he's prepared to fire. So let's take his shield out and his weapons and his oxygen and his engines. Oh, they just breached our hull. The rock ship hails. Enough! We were told aliens were a threat to our ways, and you proved as much. Take this and leave us in, in peace. Seven missiles, two drone parts, and scrap 15. Hmm. We really don't need missiles. Let's say no. Let's see what happens. We really need to get through their shields, though. Uh oh, this guy's in trouble. Both these guys are in trouble, actually. There he goes. Okay, one missile, one drum part, and 30 scrap. Well, we probably would have been better off with more missiles now that I think about it. Um, why is our oxygen off? Oh my goodness. That was a 36%. The power must have gone out. Okay, let's see. Um, he goes back to weapons. And you go back to shields. Now I'm gonna have to sit around till I get up to like 95%. Right now we're at 56%. That's really, really low. I must not have realized that they not when they knocked you know, you know what it is? When when your oxygen system is damaged, it won't repower unless you repower it manually. And that and I forgot to repower it. That was probably the last job. Okay, let's see, 83, 84. Yeah, we could use a repair station. We have a lot of scrap, though. I'll give it, I, you know. Okay, we're at 94. That's close enough. Store or distress. Hmm. Well, it's right next to the store, so let's go to the distress call first. Maybe we'll get a bit more money. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them and ask what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Send the crew or leave them alone. We're going to have to leave them alone because uh, if you send the crew, you lose a crew member. So it's pretty bad. You can't risk, uh, risk fighting some unknown alien on every backwater station you come across. You prepare to jump. See, if we only had had drone control, we could have sent that, that guy, the, the, the anti-personnel thing. You receive a halo on Federation frequencies. Your Federation? We weren't sure we'd ever see your friendly face again. There's little business here. Perhaps you'd like to trade. Of course. And look, drone control. Damn it, could have definitely, definitely used that. Um, okay, so we need to fix everything for 28 gold. Or gold. What game am I playing? Scrap. Okay, done. Um, drone control is 80. And, uh, okay, if we buy this fuel, let's see, I can still, oh, that was a system repair drone. It wasn't a, uh, let's see, ship, 
somehow, oh no, there it is, anti-personnel, there was an anti-personnel. I guess it, it comes with a system repair drone. Um, let's see here, ship. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade our power by one bar. And I'm going to probably take one of these. I'm going to take the basic laser offline. And um, that way we can put the drones on if we ever need to power the drones. Or I can decide as need be. Like if we get boarded, we can send the anti-personnel person right across. Um, yeah, so... Oh, let me go back to the store, and I'll buy... We can still buy three fuel, because we have ten scrap. One, two, three. We have one scrap left. Spend all our money. Now we jump. Um, since they're pretty far away, let's jump down here. No, I guess here's okay. A rock ship flies past your window and you recognize outcast decorations on the hull. These must be pirates. Continue. So we shoot that, and we are going to power up our laser because they don't have a... Uh... <clears throat> okay, the weapons guy just leveled up. And they're done. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two fuel, one drone part, 26 scrap. You know what that means? Ship. That means we can now upgrade this, and we have seven left. So now we can run our power and we can run the drones because we have two spare um, power slots, so we can either run an anti personnel or a system repair drone. So now, let's see, there's another store, but we, we just spent all of our money pretty much. So let's go here. A ship refueling station is stationed, uh, a ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Now the best deal, of course, is six for 12, but we only have seven scrap, so we'll buy three fuel for six. And then we have one left, but we have 24 fuel, which is very good. Now, there's a distress call here. Um, it would be nice to get another crew member, so that's why I'm kind of going towards... Okay, look at this. You find the source of the distress call. A small research station appears to be a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Send your crew and a shuttle to help put out the fire. Dock and rescue survivors. Leave, or, because we have a repair drone, send in your repair drone into the fire. You send the repair drone and it, it methodically puts out the fires. Once it has made some progress, the rest of your crew helps secure the station. Contact the survivors. They offer you their sincere gratitude. Uh, the station would have surely been destroyed without your assistance. They transfer a small reward and an additional drone schematic. So we get 35 scrap and an anti-ship beam drone. One. That is very good. That's a good prize. So now let's go to equipment. Now we have a beam drone, so I'm going to take off the system repair guy and put him into the storeroom. And uh, we will have, uh, yeah, we'll have that beam drone. We can, we can definitely use that to take out a harder enemy if we're in trouble. So, let's see. Jump. Now, we only have a couple jumps before we'll have to uh, retreat, but I guess we're going to go one, two, three, because that'll be the exit, so and that should be put us pretty close to the wire. You find a rock ship docked with a damaged mantis fighter. Before you have a chance to hail them, the ship moves into attack, and you register teleporter symbols from the disabled ship. They're using mantis tech to board you. Uh -oh. Okay, anti-personnel drone. Activated, here he comes. And we're going to open these things because my anti personnel guy does not need oxygen. Oh, and we're also fighting a ship. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. Um, take out his weapons. Shoot his oxygen down. And they'll shoot our oxygen down. 
We just took care out took out the uh warning guy. Okay, this guy is losing health like crazy. Our shields are completely down. I have him in there. Okay. Oxygen is fixed. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Fuel one, missiles one, scrap three. Okay, so let's see. He is in drone thing. Oh yeah, so we need to fix here. Well, let's put these two guys on repairs. Okay, it's in orange now. And done. So let's put him back on weapons. Okay, let's see here. So I think we're safe enough to go here and then we can still make those couple exits. So we want to explore as much of this system as possible. Sector. You encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. Its rock cute crew member explains that the rock homeworld is, is run on lies and propaganda that keep the populace in check and that they want no part of it. You tell them that their god sent them here to join your crew? or promise to share with them the truths they've been denied. Well, it's gonna be 50-50, so let's just, let's do this. I don't feel like if they're complaining about being lied to, I don't think that lying to them is gonna help. So let's promise to, they seem tempted by your offer, but decide they can't risk being lied to again. They close frequencies and jump away. So, bummer. Um, so we're in the space, but because we got there before they did, we're fine. So we'll go to the next jump. They'll be right on the tail. They'll be right on our tail, but we'll be fine. It looks quiet, but you realize your computer is being scanned. A hidden rock vessel hails you. Why fill, do you fill your computer with these lies? These are not the holy words. Before you can interject, they open fire. Uh -oh. So let's see. Basic laser, heavy laser, basic laser, and oxygen. The rock ship moves into defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem to be willing to buy their lives. Accept their offer. Eight missiles, two drone parts, 14 scrap. I'd like more scrap, but a lot of, that's a lot of missiles, even though we're not using missiles. So we're going to accept it, even though they were the jerky aggressors. I'm sending in the Zoltan to help fix the engines because the Mantis repairs super slow. Okay, it's all fixed now. How is he doing? Let's see. Yeah. He has almost no repair experience. So, last stop, the exit. You arrived at the Long Ridge Beacon. When the FTO drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have any extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly, gladly pay for them. Five missiles for 15 scrap. So basically, they're, they're paying three scrap per missile. Missiles cost eight. So we really are just going to say no thanks because we can use those missiles. We'll just end up buying more missiles sometime when we get a missile thing. We have 29 missiles, though. That's a lot of missiles. So now we have to go to one of two Mantis control centers. I'll just choose the top one. And this is where I'm going to wrap up the episode. Sorry that our Engi exploration failed, but hopefully with the red tail ship, we'll get make it all the way to the boss. I'll try to be a little less careless, and that'll be it as soon as I read this. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure that your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Continue. So, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, if you like, like if you don't like well just be cool man oh you know what i just realized our door system is broken so i better fix that just uh don't be a hater you know love it's christmas give me a like give me a christmas like thanks so much guys thanks for watching seriously